Time, new developments in the Republican race for 2016. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee stepping away from his hosting duties here at Fox News as he considers a possible bid for the White House now. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie trending on social media as he celebrates. Did you see this? He celebrates with a hug the Cowboys playoff victory over the Lions. Great game. Dancing and hugging Cowboys owner Jerry Jones in his stadium suite yesterday. Christie's brother ripping the online critics, posting this on Facebook, quote, to all of those non-cowboy fans who have their panties in a ringer because the governor of New Jersey is a Cowboys fan, get a life. The gov has been a Cowboys fan for his entire life, and all of you would sit with the owner of your favorite team in a heartbeat if given the chance. Sting. Jessica Tarloff is a Democratic pollster and senior political strategist at Schoen Consulting. David Avella, the president of GoPack, and they're here to debate this today. Uh, welcome, both of you, to the show. Uh, so, so, David, uh, were you offended at all? I guess some people were with Chris Christie hugging Jerry Jones and not showing allegiance to a New Jersey or a New York team. There's one person, Gretchen, that is directly impacted by the governor's hug, and that is Scott Walker, who now doesn't have to buy his fellow governor a ticket to this week's game <laughs> and can instead give it to another cheesehead and enjoy some beer and brats with a Packers fan sitting beside <laughs> of him. Oh, come on. But from a political point of view, I thought you were going to say maybe Scott Walker liked it because he might run for president. <laughs> Uh, Gretchen, I, I don't know anybody that's going to base their vote on whether Chris Christie was a Giants fan or a Cowboys fan uh, in, in the crucial states of Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Okay. And while it is certainly fun for us to joke about today, it doesn't have much long-term well, long impact. But, but the, the reason I bring it up, and maybe not that particular image, Jessica, but, mm -hmm. you know, optics are everything Everything, now. yeah. And, and especially as we move forward to 2016, and everyone remembers the hug right. between Governor Chris Christie and President Obama after Hurricane Sandy. That, many people believed, was sort of the death nail for, for Christie for quite some time. On the yeah. Republican side, what do you think? I, I totally disagree with that. I think that was a great hug. I think this hug doesn't matter much, and the Hurricane Sandy hug mattered in all the right ways. I mean, Chris Christie was acknowledging what President Obama had done for his home state, which he cares passionately about. I mean, to doubt Chris Christie's New Jersey-ness, I think, is a, a bit ridiculous with his effusive Springsteen love all the time and things like that. So he likes the Cowboys, which I guess is fine. Um, but I think that to analyze Analyze. Optics is hugely important, but this image will matter far less even than when they hearken back to that 2012 hub. All right. Uh, let me get your take on this, David, with regard to Jeb Bush now. He's going to have this big fundraiser, uh, I guess, kicking off his presidential bid in Greenwich, Connecticut. It's going to happen on Wednesday. What do you make of it? Smart candidates start with their families uh, to raise money, and he is going to the home of his cousin to start raising money amongst family and friends, and that is what smart candidates do to get the initial money to start running for president. Right. And, Gretchen, it underscores one of the biggest advantages that Jeb Bush has in this race, and that he can put together the $75 million that you're going to need to get the nomination. Right. Yep, you're and he all, starts you're with family and friends. Uh, speaking of dough, uh, Jessica, what about Mike Huckabee? Is it going to be tough for him to raise the money, or is he a good candidate in this race? I think they're kind of separate questions. I think that Mike Huckabee is a really interesting candidate, and I actually was lucky enough to have been on his last show on Saturday night and was surprised, actually, by the announcement at that moment. Huh. Um, but I would say that he... He has fundraising ability for sure, but he has more evangelicals around this time. I mean, it's a different field than 2008, but he has a strong message, and he emphasized on Saturday night conciliation and bipartisanship and looked back at his record and what he accomplished in Arkansas, and I think that that's something that's really going to have to be reckoned with on the GOP side. I mean, he's a compromiser, and, he, mm -hmm. he, and he's shown that, so I think that that's really his strongest point and not necessarily his social conservatism, which I think very, he's going to have to push to the yeah, side of very, it. Very interesting. All right, Jessica and David. We're going to be talking about this in the future. Yeah. Thanks much. Thanks so much. Time right. for my take now. The first.